An origin story is both selected and then seen as a model or a metaphor or a symbol or an operating system for some grander design or grander narrative. We call that a teleological um, idea, right? Or a teleological story, right? So that's a $50 word from uh, philosophy. So basically teleology is a reason or explanation for something as a function of its end, purpose, or goal, okay? So origin stories are discovered or selected, and then they are, and they're, they're crafted, they're constructed so that they uh, work into the present, into the present, into the future, and there's ultimately a goal, right? Something that is found in the origin story, and then that goal is realized in the future, okay? So that's the first idea of selecting uh, an origin story. It's usually what historical consciousness does. And, and it's not only selecting it, but it's how they frame it in a teleological way. Myth and memory don't, don't do that as much, I would say. Uh, second, universalize and standardize the origin story beyond its or original local boundaries, which speaks to more people, but at the same time, particularity uh, is lost and exclusion of some very important details and people can also happen, right? So historical consciousness likes to universalize and standardize the origin story. So instead of it being the origin story of just a tribe or a family or a certain group of people, the origin story now serves a larger group of people, okay? Uh, and so that's a major move of historical consciousness, okay? Memory usually serves the individual. Uh, myth usually serves the tribe or you know, a small group of people. History is going for something bigger in a, in a more universal way. Number three, conduct a rational, objective, data-driven research project, okay? So history, along with science, okay, in the modern world, is a very rational uh, project that claims to uh, transcend local uh, narratives and be objective uh, and be logical, etc. Number four, create an educational program that teaches this teleological progressive narrative. Okay. Oh, uh, excuse me. I take that back. Uh, let me go back. That's number five. I said education.